our digital transformation began in you know, 2015, um, 2016 in earnest, um, and a few things happened um, that really sparked the beginning of this transformation. Uh, one, our, our CTO uh, came on board who had the experience and the vision uh, and the influence to get support for, uh, for a technology strategy that would really drive uh, a product mindset and a, and a consumer experience focused uh, product team uh, from the top down. So that set the stage and a few things that I'll highlight that I'm most proud of and that were probably the most fun to work on over the years um, is our app, you mentioned. Um, the, the app that we launched in 2017, we're now you know, several uh, iterations beyond, but what that did for us was give us a foundation to build. Mm -hmm. uh, it's scalable, it's, um, it's secure, it's stable, it has um, you know, components that, that are easy uh, sorry if there's software developers in the room, uh, for us to update um, and add new capabilities to uh, for our customers. Mm -hmm. so, so that's one. Um, two, when I think about um, the other customer, which is our operations team, um, our digital make line, our digital kitchen is, is the thing that I'm most proud of um, that, and had the opportunity to work on. Um, and that is you know, our kitchen display system. Uh, it sits on top of a traditional KDS, but we have a, we have a custom... Um, solution uh, that really took a user experience design approach to deliver an experience for our ops teams to execute and run their digital business uh, in a way that keeps them focused, uh, efficient, um, and they really enjoy uh, doing what they do on that make line. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. and you mentioned the rewards program, so I'm, I'm hoping we have a few Chipotle rewards uh, members in the audience. Um, but our rewards program is really just the engagement layer that lays on top some of the, the sort of new technologies that we are uh, experimenting with, and they're all in various stages of you know, R&D or, or testing, uh, one being um, our, our virtual assistant, uh, Pepper. Um, and we're really leaning into using um, you know, AI, chatbot, uh, machine learning to support our customer care team. Uh, with, a, with a system as big as ours with 3,000 plus locations, you can imagine the, the customer issue resolution and, and um, feedback that we get is substantial. So um, rather than exponentially building this customer care team uh, to support that, we're really leaning into what automation can do in that space. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, secondly, uh, contextual restaurant experience. So I know uh, Radius Flyby Technology is one of the sponsors of, of this event. Um, if you're here, I'll come say hi. Um, we are using them as well as some other technology f for, um, to deliver an experience for customers when they arrive on restaurant using what we know about them to deliver messages that are relevant and timely. Mm -hmm. So if, for instance, you have a live digital order, we know that. Uh, and we know that you've arrived on premise, we can tell you if your order is ready or if you should um, hang out for a minute and we'll notify you when we've caught up and it is ready. Um, if you should proceed into the queue for Chipotle Lane um, or if we're gonna bring it out to you uh, at your vehicle. Um, we also know if you're a rewards member and you've re arrived on site and you don't have uh, an order live. At that point, um, we're going to communicate with you about remembering to uh, scan at the POS to ensure that you get your rewards points. Um, so it's just you know, using um, real-time order information off of our, off of our digital kitchen uh, with what we know about the customer, assuming their intent, uh, and delivering you know, right-time messaging for them to take appropriate action. Mm -hmm. Great. You talked, uh, touched on some points that reduce friction in the customer experience. Can you? Talk a little bit about how some of these initiatives are reducing friction in the employee experience. Yeah, um, if, you, if you hear me, uh, many of my peers uh, at Chipotle um, and our leaders speak, um, that's a thread you're gonna often hear. It's about reducing friction, uh, reducing friction in the digital space for our customers, reducing friction for our customers when they arrive uh, in our restaurants to order or pick up orders. Um, and reducing friction for, for operations and our employees. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, we're always looking at how we can help our operators run great restaurants and deliver a great customer experience, be it for in restaurant or digital. Um, and we do that in, in a number of ways. Um, we have some uh, technology in pilot today where uh, we're looking for dynamic cook to needs. Uh, so we're using some uh, 
vision technologies to cue the grill um, when they need to put down more chicken, when to put down more steak, uh, which items we might be running low on uh, on the front line, um, and giving them an interactive interface, uh, you know, grill side for them to really understand what their cooked needs might be in the moment based on what's happening in real time in their restaurants. So trying to streamline uh, efforts there to ensure that they always have all ingredients ready for all guests open to close. Can you tell us a little bit more about the role automation um, is playing now and in the future? Sure. Uh, when we look at opportunities for automation or, um, or cobiotics, um, we're looking for opportunities to not only drive growth, um, but also drive efficiencies uh, and productivity in restaurants. Um, Chippy's a great example. I uh, enjoyed the conversation earlier today about, about Flippy and others. Um, but, you know, we talked with operations to understand what are the jobs nobody wants to do. Um, and just like French fries, nobody wants to fry chips. Uh, and at, you know, an average restaurant, we would need somebody frying chips for hours a day. Uh, it's hot, it's repetitive, it's slightly dangerous. Um, so that's where automation can really uh, add benefit to our ops teams. Uh, so Chippy's live in one restaurant in Fountain Valley, California, and we're currently going through customer sensory testing uh, and a labor analysis to understand where do we shift this labor, mm -hmm. if not frying chips, um, what will that individual be doing? Uh, and then um, what does it take to set Chippy up, uh, keep it clean, uh, and do everything mm -hmm. that's, that's needed to do there? So, so that's Chippy. Um, we're also looking at the future of our digital kitchen and that digital make line. And we've invested in a company called Hyphen uh, for a, a, um, at least partially automated uh, version of our digital make line where you know, the, the, the humans working the line can work together with a, um, an automated make line to you know, quickly uh, speed throughput and deliver accurately made entrees to, to our digital customers. Mm -hmm. So we're approaching 30 million members in our rewards program, uh, which is uh, incredible. Thank you. Um, it's been an incredibly fast growing uh, program. We launched in uh, 2019. Uh, so the fact that we're approaching 30 million members at this point is, is um, just ex exceptional. Uh, it blows my mind. Um, so what we're always looking to do is use this data that we have about our rewards members to ensure that we're delivering value to them. We want to make sure that we're either enabling convenience, um, uh, in enticing or incentivizing them to engage with the brand, to learn more about the things that we care about and the things that, that drive our purpose and set us apart from others, um, also while delivering value to the customer in the form of you know, rewards and bonuses and more points. Um, so in terms of what's next, mm -hmm. um, we're really working on delivering personalization at a whole new scale. Um, and that would be across our digital ecosystem. So using the data that we know about a customer to deliver the next best option for them across our digital ecosystem. So if I know that you've only ever ordered plant-based items from Chipotle, I may, not, um, I may not use that hero image space to promote carne asada. Instead, I might um, show you curated vegan bowls with plant-based ingredients that might drive check uh, or frequency, uh, you know, make it more relevant and appetizing for you.